Uh, Dr. Cochran, I appreciate your testimony. Would you generally give a thumbs up or thumbs down to nuclear power? Excuse me. Uh, nuclear power is in the mix. It's a mature industry, and when it uh, can compete with the other technologies on a level playing field, it, it, it ought to be. A, a, you know, we sh we sh we should permit it to compete. That's a that uh, s uh, setting aside the separate issue of whether you should reprocess the fuel. I think that's a terrible mistake. But uh, the problem today is. The new nuclear plants are not economical. These guys are coming up to the hill to get subsidies for a few new, new nuclear plants. It won't change the underlying economic problem they have. You need to cap carbon if you want to change the underlying economics. It's also the right thing to do. And then if it can compete, let it compete. But it's going to have to compete with a a lot of new technologies that are going to be coming down the line, and it's going to be a difficult road for them. And, and so you mentioned uh, capping carbon. Is that through cap and trade policies? Yes. And uh, what do you think the impact would be to uh, electricity rate payers, as an example, on cap and trade? Uh, I think it would I increase the cost of fossil fuels by uh, uh, initially a few cents and then further out more. But I think that could be offset by uh, uh, a higher investment in improved energy efficiency in the near term particularly, which has a uh, benefit in lowering the cost of electricity. And so the net effect over the long term, I don't think would, it, it, the uh, effect on the economy, I don't think would, uh, should be significant. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Ms. Cray, if you wouldn't mind uh, responding, uh, how much of our current electricity use in the United States uh, could be generated by nuclear power using only domestic uranium? Only domestic arena. I, I might have to actually defer that to um, sure. my use look friend here. Given the rise in prices that we've seen over the last several years, I think you're seeing resurgence in siting uranium mines and licensing new uranium mines. I don't think, again, you would ever have a substantial portion funded or fueled by domestic mines. I think you would still look to partners such as Can or, uh, Canada and Australia to supply much of the uranium, but our ability to do a portion, you know, maybe in 20, 15 to 20 percent is very reasonable. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Smith.